What up YouTube, it's your man MD Jonesy 529 and today I will be showing you how to use cheats with Digimon Digital Card Battle in RetroArch and without further ado, let's get started. Now the first way we're going to get cheats in your game is the manual method. So you're going to want to pull up the cheats that you're, you want to put in the game. Okay, this is the all cards cheat, this is what we're going to use for the manual method. And you want to boot up RetroArch and you want to run Digimon Digital Card Battle and once you're in you want to hit F1 go down to cheats go down to add new cheat to top then go down with that cheat uh, I guess you can name it here you just name it all cards all cards and that's good and code and this is the code right here. All these numbers between these quotation marks, that's the code for all cards. And you gotta type it in manually. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I have the cheat uh, inputted here. Uh, it's the same as here. It's gotta be this exact format. Okay, so everything between these quotations is right here. So now that we got it in there, I'm not gonna turn it on yet. I just wanna show you that I don't have any cards, so you know it works. Oops. So I'll go to cards. I'm like a bad magician. I'm like, you don't believe me that I don't have all the cards yet. But I'm showing you that, you know, I don't have all the cards yet. I wonder if it works instantly. Let's find out. So let's go to the cheats again. Now let's turn them on now that we have them in there. So we have all cards cheat. Um, we're going to enable it. Okay, so it's enabled, and apply changes, and now we're going to resume it. Dude, does this work instantly? It does. Okay, that's great. That's a great example. And now we're going to move on to the next method to get cheats in here. Now, a much easier method to get cheats in your game would be just to download them. So once you boot it in the game, just hit F1, go down to cheats, and you can load a cheat file. And you can either replace all cheats that you have, so get rid of all your old cheats and replace with a new cheat file, or you can append. So you'll keep your cheats, your old cheats, and it'll just add on to them. So we'll do that method, as you can see here, where we got our one cheat. Uh, and we can just append here. And we just gotta find our system. So it's a Sony PlayStation. And then we just need to find our game. It's gonna be a long journey to find our game. Bear with me here. We're in the B's. We're getting there. We need to get to the D's. We're still in the B's. Now we're in the C's. We're in the C's, guys. We're getting there. We're almost to the D's. Just bear with me here. Oh, D E. We need D I. Oh, we passed it. Digimon World 3. Okay, there we are. Digimon Digital Car Battle USA Europe. Okay, so we just downloaded it and we still have all our cards. And now we have all of these, which is awesome. So that's the downloading method. Now the last method is the download and edit method. Now you'd want to do this for games that are missing cheats. Um, like if this game has a lot of cheats, but it doesn't have uh, the all cards and the all that you parts cheats in the uh, you know default cheats. And I got these cheats from a, I guess it's a forum of some kind. It's like gamehacking.org. I will leave a link in the description to where I got these. Um, big shout out to them. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, to start out, we're going to delete all our cheats just to have a clean slate. And now we're going to minimize this. Now we have to find our cheat file. So open file location. And cheats. I'm blind, aren't I? Go down to Sony. Go down to Digimon Digital Card Battle. Hope I don't pass it. I know I'm gonna pass it. Digimon. I did. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna copy it just in case we screw up. So copy, paste it to the right there. We're gonna open it back up. Now we're going to edit it. it. So basically, 
I already did the uh, formatting, so I'm making it at the end. So 67, 68. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to paste right here. And we're going to change this to 68 because there's 68 sheets now. Very important. And I think I, yeah, I screwed up. So I need to change this to 66, right? Yeah, 66. So I I made a mistake. So we'll change that to 66. Shouldn't be no big of a deal. I should have tested this before I did all this, but I am hard headed about making this video. Okay, now save it. Save it. Make sure it all looks good. So 68 sheets. We formatted correctly. So we can close that. Close that. Now we can boot up the game again. So now we can load sheet file replace. So we gotta scroll through again to get it. Sony PlayStation. All the way down to Digimon Digital Card Battle. I don't know why it's like. I mean, I guess they made a lot of PS1 games. And they just all put them here. I mean, there should be a priority for the content you're running, I would say. Right? Because this scrolling is annoying. Okay, there it is. Digimon Digital Car Battle. Now it should be at the bottom. So if we go up. There they are. All Digiparts and all cards. So let's see if they work. So let's, we're going to make sure we don't have cards. Resume. Player's room, menu. So we'll go to player's room. So I got, you know, 1.2% card completion, 0.7% uh, digi parts. So we'll go to F1 and go to options, not, not options, cheats. And we'll go all the way to the bottom. We're going to enable all cards. We're going to enable did you parts as well and apply changes and resume okay it might have not worked let's go to menu cards imagine it didn't work and I'm just like crazy okay so it worked for cards Let's see if those digi parts worked. I looked those up. I was hoping they worked. Let's go back down to partner. And I have all the parts. That's insane. Not to mention his health is like insane too. So all the digi parts are there. Now let's look at our player card. Maybe it just didn't want to update. Yeah, it's all 100%. And there you have it. That's how you get cheats in Digimon Digital Card Battle on RetroArch. Uh, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please like the video and subscribe so others can find my content. Um, if you have any questions uh, or comments, uh, go ahead and put that below. I would love to hear it. I will give my feedback. I'd love to hear your feedback. And uh, also, I want to let you know I do have a Twitch. Uh, if you want to subscribe, MD Jonesy 529 same as YouTube. And also, I have a live streaming YouTube as well. If you want to catch all my past VODs, it's on there, MD Jonesy 529 live streams. And uh, I hope you, again, enjoyed the video, and have a nice day.